This video is an introduction to equivalent force systems. My name is Dr. Jean-Marc Retrouvé, and I'm an orthodontist working part-time in academia. So the first thing you need to do is to define the center of resistance or CR. This spot's located about a third away from the crest of bone. So I put it roughly here. It's still not fully, fully well defined, but roughly it's a third of the root from the alveolar crest level. So this is the CR. This is where we're going to do all our calculations. Then, unfortunately, in orthodontics, as we all know, you will have a point of application of the fourth, which is usually at the bracket. It can be at the bracket or around the bracket or on the crown of the tooth if you use aligners. Same thing. Then we'll define what we call the line of action of the force, which is this one, LOA, kind of line of action. It's a super important concept because this gives you the idea where the force will be placing its amplitude or the direction of the force will be defined by the line of action. And let's put the force on at the same time. And you can see now that I've placed a 100 gram or one Newton force in a lingual direction that follows the line of action of the force and the point of application is the bracket right here. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the distance, which is the perpendicular from the line of action of the force, which is in red now with the direction of the force being distal. Remember also that if you had a force like this, with a different point of application, but on the line of action of 100 grams also, you would have the same effect. So this one would be a push force. This one would be a pull force. Not, there is no difference. Even if the point of application is different because it's on the same line of action. Important concept to remember. So the distance is not the, this dashed line here, which is the distance on the CR to the point of application. It is the perpendicular from the CR to the line of action. Very important concept. You can see that the, those two lines are of different angles and different lengths. So the D is the right one. First thing you want to do is this 100 force gram that I'm applying in the bracket, I can find it also at CR. But there is something missing here. Absolutely, what happens is now this force, which is the force you're applying, called this force right here, is away by distance D from the center of resistance of the tooth, which will create a moment which will want to rotate the tooth and the moment is created by the force F being away from the center resistance times D and this moment has a counterclockwise so it's rotating against the clock rotation so you can put it this way or C C W and let's assume for a moment that D equals 10 millimeters your moment equals f which is one newton or 100 grams that go in grams times 10 which is a thousand gram millimeters counterclockwise so what is to be retained by this is it's pretty evident that at the point of application there is a simple force so we have a simple force but this simple force being away from the center of resistance, this is at the bracket, remember, will have the effect of having, again, a simple force. So the simple force is also translated to the center of resistance. But because it's away, you will have also a moment created by the distance, either in a clockwise or counterclockwise. You can say that this force system 
of n force plus a moment at CR is equivalent to the simple force at the point of application of the force. So they are not equal, as you can see, they are different, but they have the same effect on the tooth. And obviously, simple force like this one will, will result in uncontrolled tipping, a concept we will expose in the next video. Thank you.